Hello and welcome to the video. Today we're going to talk about how can you actually become a data analyst in 2024 or anytime after 2024. In my mind, there's like three main pathways that people can use to actually become a data analyst and get a job as a data analyst. So let's hop right into it. It's a beautiful evening, but we're not talking about the evening tonight. We're talking about data and data analysts. So number one, I think like the most tried and true way that folks can become a data analyst is by going to school. So like going to university to become a data analyst so like you can get a degree. Now, there really aren't a ton of undergraduate degrees that specify that are in exactly data analytics. Common degrees, common bachelor's degrees that you can get are like economic. Like a lot of economics majors are kind of geared towards becoming data analytics professionals in the future. Computer science, that's another one. Although most computer scientists end up going into software engineering, but really there's not a ton of like pure undergrad degrees that specialize in data analytics. Now, when you get to the master's degree level, there's a lot of master's programs in data analytics specifications. So you can consider that. Like, we're not gonna spend a ton of time on this. The most common way, like most folks who work in data analytics have a degree. And I think that's still the tried and true case. Spend four years getting a degree in maybe economics or something else, something related, maybe in mathematics, and then maybe get a master's degree in data analytics as a specialty. Now, however, I don't necessarily recommend that. I think historically that's been the way, but college is super expensive. Let's not pretend. College in America today can easily cost you like $40,000 a year. And that ROI is not as seen as much as it used to be seen historically. So tried and true, if you're going to college, study something like economics, mathematics, statistics. Maybe you can find a program that has data science or data analytics as a undergraduate degree itself. I haven't seen that pretty much ever, that there is data analytics undergraduate degrees, but they may be becoming more common now as data itself is becoming a lot more popular for jobs going forward. So you can do that. Now, secondarily, you could teach yourself. So there's a lot of free resources on YouTube, a lot of courses that you can take. The cost of education historically used to be super high and it still is for like getting degrees, but you can teach yourself the skills basically. You can teach yourself really any skill you want to for free. And I think out of all of the data careers, data analytics leads itself to the idea that you could learn all the necessary skills needed to get a job for free. Now, let's be honest, it's a very competitive job environment right now, at least in the United States market, for getting an entry-level data analytics job. By no stretch of the imagination is this going to be an easy thing to do whatsoever, but it is possible. I think all of the skills you need to become a data analyst and get a job as a data analyst, you can learn for free from YouTube, from Coursera, from courses, heck, MIT and Harvard, I think they have a lot of courses for free that you could do, you could get certifications in that. Say for whatever reason you can't go to college, you can learn all the necessary skills needed to become a data analyst for free and then just start messaging a ton of people on LinkedIn to try to get your foot in the door, get an internship somewhere that could then potentially lead into a full-time job. So I think if you're really scrappy and you wanna hustle a lot, you could, Get everything for free if you want to. It's definitely gonna be tough. It might take a lot longer. Say that would take like a year or two and then spend another two, it wouldn't even take you two years, but say you have another two years, you could probably find an intro to data or you could probably find a beginning data analyst job within two years just by, you know, pure will and grinding on LinkedIn and going to meetups, tech meetups in different cities until you eventually either got an internship or an initial job as a data analyst. So I think number two is you could go that whole like free education course route. So that's number two. So one is university, two is is going that free course route, YouTube, free courses, MIT courses that are all offered for free. And the third one is boot camps. So tech boot camps used to be very, very popular. A lot of them kind of were scammy-ish. A lot of tech boot camps promised the world, but never really delivered anything. A lot of boot camps promised that you'd get a job within six months after graduating. And sometimes that job that they would get you would be working for themselves. So there are a lot of scammy boot camps Now, out of data science, data engineering, data analytics, out of the data fields, I think data analytics lends itself most to succeeding from a boot camp. And let me tell you why. For data engineering, that can sometimes be very computer science heavy and you need to have a better software engineering understanding to succeed at that. For data science, that can be very mathematics and statistics heavy where I would highly recommend that it might be beneficial to have a bunch of college level math classes at that would potentially indicate that for data engineering and data science you might be better off going through the college degree route but for data analytics there is math required but 
You don't need ton of linear algebra. You don't need Calc 3. You don't need Bayesian statistics at the level that you would for data science. And you can learn those skills probably pretty well in like a six month boot camp. Now, mind you, I have never taken a data analytics boot camp. I went the university route, but I haven't done the boot camp route itself. So I don't know from experience. However, just by looking at the skill sets needed to be successful in data analytics, it leads me to think that the boot camp route, where basically the boot camp is like you pay group money to teach you the exact skills. The skills needed to be a data analyst are stuff that could be learned in a bootcamp. And what I mean by that is it's not a ton of math. It's basically like basic math, basic statistics, but then it's actually using these programs. It's mastering Excel. It's being good at SQL. It's learning some R. And most importantly, it's putting all those programming languages together with the analytic skill set. So like making good dashboards in maybe Tableau or Power BI, being able to do ad hoc analytics to identify, you know, what type of stuff is driving profit to a business or whatever. It's really combining these programming languages with analytic skills that you can learn in the bootcamp to answer business problems. And that's why I think it's an interesting one. If you want to go down a bootcamp route, it's not going to cost you nearly as much as an undergraduate degree or a master's degree, but it will give you the skill sets needed to be successful in data and analytics. And so if you're looking to spend a little bit of money, not as much as a university degree, but some money, I don't know exactly how much bootcamps run nowadays, you could get the skill sets needed to become successful in data analytics in probably six months. And then it would still be tough to get a job, but I think it would be easier with the bootcamp credential than having no credential whatsoever, because at least that bootcamp credential backs up that, hey, you were verified by this company that you know how to do basic analytics stuff. It's kind of like getting credentials. Sometimes these bootcamps will help place you, which will probably not super common now, don't know for sure, but I think the bootcamp route, at least for data analytics, the most interesting one to consider because you could get the skill sets probably within six months and they could probably help you find a job even though that might be not as common as it, as it used to be, but at least it would provide you the skill sets to become a entry-level data analyst. And then it's up to you to kind of hustle your butt off to get that internship or get the junior data analyst job, which can be done through enough networking and just kind of grinding your head against the wall and LinkedIn and networking and meetups. Not to ramble too much, but out of those three, university, teaching yourself and boot camps, I think boot camps could be good for folks wanting to become a data analyst analyst. Now, at the end of the day, whatever you choose, you're going to have to work hard to get your foot in the door. It's not as easy now as it used to be to get either internships or entry level jobs because the market is kind of saturated. Right now, companies don't have a ton of money to spend and they aren't hiring like they used to be maybe right after the pandemic. And so whatever you choose, you know, university, teaching yourself or boot camps, it's going to be tough. I think the easiest one to do, the most common one is universities. It takes a long time and it's expensive, but it is the most common one. But we're kind of moving into a world where university degrees aren't as important as they used to be, but there is still value into having a degree. Secondly being, this is like, if you really want to hustle, you could teach yourself the skills. You could go through the YouTube courses. You could go to free education on MIT, edX, Khan Academy, or through different GitHub courses that are designed for free how to become a data analyst and then you could really just network use linkedin use meetups you know, try to contact anyone in the field to get your foot in the door and get an internship and then maybe try to spin down to a entry-level job now that probably is the least expensive but the most risk and the most maybe not necessarily guaranteed outcome but hey could be a good outcome for folks who you know are looking for a challenge or don't want to get into debt for either going into a course or going to school and then the third option which i think in my opinion is the most interesting option for data Data analytics is the bootcamp route. So in the bootcamp route, as we mentioned again, you can learn the skills in different modules in a like time box amount of time with the projects that you would do in a bootcamp. And then maybe the bootcamp could help get your foot in the door to getting internships and jobs. At the very least, the bootcamp would give you kind of an authorization that you know the skills, you know the minimum level of skills needed to at least become a junior data analyst. And that can be beneficial. And the bootcamp is not as expensive or as time intensive as a university degree is. And it has more of a predefined path that learning by yourself would not necessarily have. So I think that is probably the medium level one. It's not as risky as studying by yourself. It's not as expensive or time consuming as going through undergraduate degree, but it still is a big question mark because now boot camps are more popular, but some people
people still have the stigma that a boot camp isn't the same as going to university. But I also have seen people in the industry be very successful by getting their start in boot camp. So it really, as always, kind of boils down to who the person is and what you're going to do after the boot camp. It boils down to you. You can become a data analyst if you want to. There are many different paths to get into the field. Those, in my opinion, are the three most common outcomes is the university path, teach yourself and do certifications yourself path, and then the boot camp path. So pick your poison. I personally did the university path, just kind of ended up in the data field, going through getting a master's degree in data science. Uh, my undergraduate degree, I believe, is like a liberal arts degree in economics and psychology. So overall, to show you that bachelor's degree doesn't necessarily super matter. I mean, it does help if it's in economics, math, stats, maybe comp sci. But at the end of the day, everyone's path is going to be their own. And so it's tough, but you can do it. Point of this video, not really sure what the point of this video was. I just wanted to talk about the three most common paths about how you could become a data analyst pros and cons to each if you found this video whatever useful give it a like thumbs up and subscribe and hey i'll see you in the next one